Hello Dave, um, so what, what are you doing today? I'm going to change on this crank to um, a new crank. To a new crank, that's perfect. Um, what, what, what's the first step of um, removing a crank? I'm going to take the pedal off because it's, it's going to get in the way. Okay, so the first right. thing you do is... is so this is the left crank, so you turn the pedal clockwise to loosen it, isn't it? Yes. Okay, and and then what's the next step for uh, the axle bolts? Got to take that out. You have to take the axle bolts. That's perfect. That's a normal threaded bolt, so we're going to go anti-clockwise to unscrew it, and it's going to be quite solid usually. So we're going to take quite a lot of strength. Yeah. What, what about the right? Is it the same way for both sides? Yeah, the, the axle bolts are just um, normal threaded bolts. Okay. And in the meantime, while, while you're doing that, um, could you tell us what tools you'll be needing for the whole process? Uh, pedal spanner, um, crank bolt, um, hex key, depending on what kind of crank bolt you've got, but this is um, kind of hexagonal yes. bolt. So that's out now. And this is jammed on solid, so you're going to need a special tool, which is the um, Crank extractor. That's perfect. This is Isis crank extractor because these are Isis crank cranks. cranks. Yeah. Um, That's very good. And how does the Isis extractor, the crank extractor, work? Keep the camera. In. Yeah, I'll just bring the camera. Okay. This is the crank. This bit here is the axle bolt. This tool, it's a special shaped end to match exactly, goes down the hole of the crank, missing it entirely, pushes against the axle bolt. So when I screw this into the crank, take this out as far as it can go, this screws into the crank, I can then put pressure on this, tighten it up, and it'll push against the axle bolt and bring the crank out with it. Okay. So let's have a look. Does that, does that make sense? Yep. Very good. So be very careful to make sure it goes in properly, not to cross thread it. It should be nice and loose until it gets almost to the end. Give it a little bit of a tighten of the spanner. Now, I'm going to tighten this so it pushes in. Starts putting pressure on the axle bolt. And if you bring the camera around here, you can see you shoot it down to the, you'll see the crank start to move. Sorry, I'm on the wrong bolt there. Yeah. Right, you should see a crank start to edge out. Yeah, it's coming there. It's loose. And there it is, it's come off. What is that? I think that's just a spacer. I'm going to clean the grease off. Is there any particular reason for doing that? Just so I can put new grease on. Okay. Clean grease. And you definitely have to put grease on before you put the new crank on. Um, it's mainly to um, make sure it seats on properly. Okay. So there's grit and dirt on there. Just take this out. Well, I'll, I'll sort that out later. Um, yeah, new grease. And what and what, what grease are you using? It's actually Vaseline. Okay, so Vaseline is more. What what other gre what other greases can be used? I don't uh, I don't know. Um, some kind of motor grease probably. But I've always used Vaseline because you know, I don't have a workshop. I don't have loads yeah. of different kinds of oil. And stuff. Okay, and that is good because 
to every man this video is for anybody who wants to do it DIY and do it themselves yes yeah, so, so Vaseline is widely available yep yeah. but you do need a crank extractor tool that's one of the special tools you do have to get okay, okay. I'm going to make sure this is 180 degrees to the crank because it'd be very easy to put it on like that and then realize afterwards that um, you've got a unicycle that is there. very wobbly okay so that's a very important point so they have to be exactly 180 degrees to each other yep and then you got to hammer it on a little bit and the best way to do that would be some protective rags and a wooden mallet okay. but I have neither of those so I'm going to use um, can use a hammer okay with some cloths on it yep or I'm going to just use this hatchet because it's got a bit of yeah padding so a combination of the grease and tapping it should seated and final thing the hoop bolt 